Hey guys, um, this isn't gonna be edited. It's just gonna be like a direct upload type thing. Um, and I'm having some chocolate milk. This is the best chocolate milk in the world. It's extremely rich though, but it is the absolute best. Dairy gold, dairy gold, I don't know. Old fashioned chocolate. It's so, it literally tastes like you're drinking a melted creamy, like a chocolate creamy type thing. It's unbelievably delicious. Anyway, um, I don't have a vlog for you because yesterday, technically, I guess now, it's one of the worst days I've had in a very long time. And when stuff gets that bad, you just, you don't want to pull out your camera because you don't want to you know, if, if other people's feelings are involved, you just don't want to do that. And so, um, I can't sleep. I'm so anxious. It's three in the morning. Um, I just binged and purged, so I'm not okay. <sighs> However, it was either go and do it again binge and purge again, or go live, or make a video, I mean. I guess I could have gone live too, but maybe I should show you guys these parts, you know, where you're just, sometimes it's hard to figure out like who you are and where you are when things get so hard that it just clouds everything and you feel like there's no right answer and you just feel um, lost and confused and lonely even if you even though you have so many people in your life you know that you know what I mean I know thousands of people and I have the most incredible family and friends and yet I feel so alone right now um, everything will be okay but right now it's not and that's life it happens but i've had all of this built up pain and frustration for a while now and it kind of just all came out yesterday and i don't want to I don't want to feel bitter feelings, but I do. And I just feel so sad that the way that the world is right now makes me so sad. I feel like this whole year, this whole pandemic, everything has just brought out the worst in everybody. And it's just so sad. Like, I just feel sad, you know? And I know a lot of you feel this way too. And for us, it can be extra hard because we already have clinical depression and then to add on um, a circumstantial depression like the pandemic and the election and everything that's going on makes it like double, triple hard. It's really, really hard to deal with. And I know I'm not alone in this and I know that so many, so many of you out there are going through the same thing that I am. So hopefully this video makes you feel less lonely because I don't see much else good in this video. <laughs> I just don't know what to say because I guess I that just sums it up. Like I, I'm disgusted by the world that we live in right now and some of the ways that some people are treating other people in the world. And it's like, dude, be grateful for what you have. And I'm grateful. I have the best family in the world. I have the best friends, the internet family, and I have the absolute best husband in the entire world. 
and I'm so grateful for them. And I don't care if, you know, I'm, we're just, we're so blessed and we're so lucky to, uh. excuse me, um, have to be able to go to Thanksgiving tomorrow and have a beautiful turkey and all kinds of food and be in a warm home and be together with our families, um, distanced, of course, by the way, my family's set up a system that the tables are very far apart and each household gets a table basically so that we can stay separated and I'm going to wear my mask the whole time. But anyway, what was I saying? Um, oh, like we're just, we're so lucky and some of us don't have family, but maybe you're lucky in other ways. And if you don't feel you truly are, just, I encourage you to find whatever the joy is in your life. I know some, sometimes that's hard to find. Um, but I guess we're all blessed in our, in our own ways. All of us have blessings in your life, in our lives, whether you believe it or not, we all do. I think it's important to recognize those and appreciate those. Um, however, know that I'm with you I understand that it's so frustrating to live in a scary world right now and I just encourage you to be grateful I'm trying to be grateful for what I have and today was seriously the worst day I've had in a long time and it ended with gratitude the entire day was like bitterness and but then I just stopped and I was like you know some people don't even have a family to go to for Thanksgiving and some people don't can't walk. Like at least I can walk and I can move and I can eat and I can like there are people out there that would die to walk even if it meant having to wear a mask all day. They would do it to go and be with their families and um, I'm just really lucky that I've got an amazing family and an incredible husband and not everybody has that but you know I kind of feel bad for saying that because like is that gonna be like oh my gosh I'm so blessed and you guys are not I know that a lot of you are alone out there and I know that a lot of you feel like you have no joy or no happiness in your life but I promise you do you just have to find it and if it's something as little as You're gonna treat yourself to pizza tonight, or, oh, your favorite show is on, or I'm gonna go for a hike today. Whatever it is, find one, even just one little positive thing and build on that. And if you don't have a family, you can make your own family. I have two families. I have my family that consists of me and Danny and our families, and I have you guys, you're my other family. You can make family, it doesn't have to be blood, you know, and I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking. I keep going on tangents. This was going to be me venting. And now I'm like up on my high horse, like make yourself happy. And like, I'm over here bitching all day. I guess maybe that's why I felt the instinct to turn on the camera. Cause maybe it forced me to be grateful. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't even know. This whole video is a mess. I'm a mess. I don't think I'll even post this, to be honest. <sighs> Guys. I guess I'll just say this again. I want to encourage you to find your happiness, but I also want to encourage you to please be kind if there's something that somebody doesn't agree with you on. And right now families are being torn apart because of politics and the pandemic. And it's so sad, but like at the end of the day, think about it, like the things or the people that are the most important in your life, is it really worth losing them over a fight about difference of opinion? It's just not worth it. And I get it. Trust me, I get it. There's so many people in my family that don't agree with 
the way that I think and I don't agree with the way that they think, but you know what? They still love me and I love them and I always will. And I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful for them. And I think it's okay to acknowledge that and it's taken me a long time to do this. Um, had my heart broken so many times in the past month it's unreal and it makes you want to not live and it makes you just not want to even believe in humanity because you don't want to believe that there are people in this world that are treating people so horribly because of a difference of opinion which doesn't hurt anybody. You know, I can understand cutting someone out of your life or whatever, or starting a war or whatever, if it has to do with other people getting hurt. But if it's somebody's opinion, just, you don't have to agree with them, but you also, it's just not necessary to try and bring them down, you know? What's that going to do? That's just going to push them further away from whatever message you're trying to share with them. Um, I'm terrified. I'm terrified of the world that we live in. I'm terrified it's only going to get worse and worse. And if I can't handle it now, all I know is at the end of the day, my, my husband and my family are the most important things to me in the whole world. And you guys, my other family. And I just, I guess I just want to encourage you. And maybe if I say this out loud that I will also remind myself because I need to have this reminder as well like pick your battles <laughs> like is it really worth losing a family member or losing somebody in your life that you've known your whole life and or that you just love so so deeply is it really worth it to fight about a disagreement in politics or the pandemic or anything that's going on is it worth it is it worth like just think to yourself is it gonna is this gonna destroy a relationship and you don't have to cave in to what their opinion is i'm not saying that like absolutely say what you believe in and you have that right and others have that right i'm just saying that to want to treat someone badly or some people are even being cut off by their entire families. It's just not right. Like, think about that for a second and just... This world is a scary place and I'm running out of...
like it literally got so bad that I binged and purged because I felt so upset by things that I'm seeing and reading and feeling and that's not an excuse. I'm just telling you what led up to it. And like inside, I just feel complete turmoil and just fear of, am I going to lose my family? Am I going to lose people in my life? Am I going to lose, are you guys going to lose people? I'm always thinking of you. You are always on my mind, all of you. I know a lot of you are already going through so much and I just pray every day for you and I pray that you and I and everyone never have to go through losing somebody they love. Um, Yes, it sounds like I'm farting when I blow my nose, sorry. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just having a moment. I'm having one of those times where I can't sleep. It's 3.30 in the morning, I cannot get to sleep and I just binged in purge and right now I'm thinking about suicide. I'm not gonna do it, but like I'm thinking about it and I'm like, what is happening? I know that I know that it's because I can't handle contention. I can't handle tension at all. I've never been good at this. It doesn't register with me fighting and and so for me to feel contentious feelings today makes me sad. And scared like is it always going to be this way? No. I feel like I'm losing who I was. And I also just kind of hate that it just comes and goes and comes and goes. Like I'll be fine in an hour. In an hour I'll be like, oh my gosh, you guys. And I'll like post an inspirational post and be like, guys, just trust yourself and trust your higher power. Like guaranteed. And that's just my borderline personality disorder. However, the past 48 hours have been bad, like constant bad, pretty much. So what am I even talking about? What is this video? I don't know what to say. I'm gonna try and go to bed, but before I go, I would like to tell you what I'm grateful for. It is the week of Thanksgiving. I'm grateful for these things every day, but in the spirit of Thanksgiving, here we go. Um, I'm so grateful for my home and that we have electricity and food and warmth and beds. I'm so grateful that Danny has a job that can get us this home. I'm so grateful for my birds. They're truly our babies and I love them so much. I'm so grateful for you guys, my internet family, the Shani families. I am so beyond grateful for you and all that you've done. You guys have saved my life more than I've told you. You save my life all the time. I just don't say it, so thank you. Um, I'm so grateful for friendship and long lasting friendships that I've had since I was a little girl, like Mouse, my best friend, and just other friends that I've had my whole life. I'm so grateful for, I'm so grateful for the trials that I've been through because looking back, that's what made me who I am. And that's what made me so strong, except today, I'm not strong today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I'm grateful because they were all learn. I would have not learned. I wouldn't have learned from it. Um, I've been talking for 20 minutes. Ugh. Anyway, okay, let me finish this. Then I'm gonna go. I'm so grateful for my family. Um, both Danny and I come from good, good, good families, and. I just think that's really awesome and that 
I really lucked out. I feel really blessed that I have two amazing families, my family and Danny's family. I love each one of them individually for different reasons. And there are a lot of big personalities in my family. And I just love them all so differently. But in the end, I love them all the same, which is like unconditional, I would do anything for them type of love. I just love them. I love, love, love my family. I am so grateful for my parents. Um, they have, besides Danny, they've been my rock like for forever. And they've done so much for us. And I'll be forever grateful for everything that they've done for us because I truly have the best parents in the world. I really do. Um, I really lucked out to get such an amazing stepdad. And, you know, I'm grateful for my real dad as well. But my mom is my best friend. I love her so much. And my siblings. I just love my whole family. Um, I am so grateful for God. I'm grateful for prayer. I'm grateful for faith. I'm grateful to have the knowledge that um, this is just what I believe, you don't have to, but to have the knowledge that life doesn't end after this life. There's more after this to come. And I'm so grateful that, that I know that that's true for me. And I'm grateful for God, even though I don't go to him as often as I should. But when I do, always there And he's been the one constant in my life, my entire life. And he always will be. So I'm so grateful for God and Jesus. So grateful. I'm grateful for my church, even though there are things that are really hard for me to understand. I'm still grateful for the principles that I was taught and that I was taught that family was the most important thing and family and service and faith. I really do appreciate everything I've learned from my church. Last but certainly not least at all, <laughs> my husband, Danny. I don't understand why he still puts up with me. <laughs> I don't know why he's stuck around this long, but he is an angel on earth and Sorry, I'm really emotional. <laughs> We've been through so much together and we're still going through hard things here and there. And every time we just, we come out of it so much stronger and I don't know how or why I was so blessed to have a man that's patient enough where in the beginning he knew literally nothing about eating disorders or mental health he knew nothing and for him over the past 16 and a half years to take it upon himself to learn so that he can support his wife who's miserable every day it's such a beautiful and selfless thing he doesn't have to do that but it means the world that he does and he's always there for me no matter what. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna try and go to bed again. Please be kind to one another. Please tell me in the comments what you're grateful for. And 
please be kind and choose your battles. That's something that I'm learning in the past 24 hours. I'm gonna choose my battles. And when it comes to, for me, family is the most important thing. So I'll always choose Danny, who's my family, and then my other family. Danny's my number one family now, but I will always choose my family. Um, anyway, I don't know what this video is. Oh my gosh. Who knows if I'll even upload. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, there's your vlogmas for the day. You're welcome. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Good night.